morning, kitty. You hungry? You want some breakfast? Some breakfast kibbles? Hey, buddy. Good morning. I remounted your scratchy post right here. Want to try it? What do you think? You can do it. Right up, right up here. That's, that's close. I think I'll get the hang of it eventually. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, yeah? Okay. Try it again. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> good boy. I don't think you're doing much good there, but okay. I like the effort. What are you doing? It's a pretty soft blanket there. Okay. All right, I got my shower in. You know, I'm finding it a little difficult to find ways to mount this Canon Vixia to be able to get my shot in view. I mean, usually I can just hold a camera or set it up here on the counter for what I'm doing. I gotta put that camera six feet over there right on the driver's seat of the RV in order to get the same field of view shot that I would with the GoPro. So, uh, needless to say, I'm back looking for GoPros, this time one that doesn't have a scratched screen. But, um, today's the day. I'm going to drink from my onboard water storage tank here in this old RV. I have to, you know, feel, I have to feel confident that I've cleaned the system and that there's not going to be any problems. So. <laughs> Here we go. Tastes like water. It pretty much tastes like water. All right, cool. So what I'm probably gonna end up doing is uh, filtering my water with my Brita filter. You know, do this every once in a while. Probably fill my five gallon uh, water jug there and then use that for like, for making coffee, for cooking probably, for brushing my teeth, stuff like that. Uh, just probably use the filter for any water that is uh, consumed. That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. It rained here last night in August. Just thunderstorms and everything. Tail lights work, brakes work, reverse lights work, four-way flashers work, but the turn signals don't work. And many people may have already heard me complain about this on Facebook because I've already poured about $450 in the system. The next step is to be to rip off the steering wheel and the column and look at the multifunction switch and then eventually you're going to have to rewire it. And it's something that I just can't do. So I ended up ordering some pieces. I ordered a couple toggles, some wire, some regular uh, flasher capacitor relays, and two replacement lens here in the middle this section right here but in amber I found them on a vintage trailer site so what I'm gonna end up doing is having I'm gonna build my own turn signals basically from up front but this is still two weeks away and for right now I guess I can just keep sticking my hand out the window and using my turn signs and stuff and try not to drive at night I guess basically is it but I'm just trying to fix it the best way I know <laughs> Oh, and before I forget, I also have an update on registration because getting the RV license here in Washington State has not been the easiest thing to do for me. But but what I ended up having to do because I have to physically wait for the title, well, my state can still register me, but I had to yank the California plates off, which were still good and still valid, and Washington State made me get a temporary tag for the back window that lasts for 60 days until they wait for the title to come in so that they can do their transfer. And then I can either put my old van plates on this RV or I can buy new plates. So 
Anyway, I, I feel comfortable that I'm at least now registered in the correct state that I live in, but it's been quite an interesting ordeal and not easy. I Doing the out-of-state thing is a little complicated, but it's over with now. And I just want to touch on, base on the, the lights one more time. I'm not... I'm trying to fix the, the blinkers on the back. I'm not trying to pour a whole bunch of money into it. So I understand, you know, people will be like, well, just take it to, you know, an auto electrician that's really good at that stuff and get it diagnosed. And I'm just, I'm trying to save money everywhere possible because I have been spending a lot of money on fixes to this RV, which is fine. That's, that's life. That's the way it is. I've sold my generator. I've sold my mini dramatic fridge. I've sold my iPhone that I was using for... Um, uh, music, and now I've returned my Beats XL speaker back to Apple because of the recall. Um, I guess they're going to give me an electronic check for $300, so I'm trying to, I'm basically trying to come up with ways to save money, but also make money and sell stuff that I'm not using, which is, uh, it can be disheartening sometimes, but I mean, I have, I don't have a whole lot of RV tech expertise inside I thought I did. Up until this RV, I always thought I was really handy inside the RV. But there's been some, some tricky propane issues and other stuff. The blinkers are driving me crazy. What, what I have, I know for sure, is, is a passion to want to fix things and come up with a way that works for me to, to fix things. Ultimately, I'm going to find a way to fix the turn signals and make them legal my way, not everybody else's way. So that's, that's the plan anyway. And yeah, I'm kind of mixing up the videos. I'm not doing all driving videos. I'm not doing all maintenance videos. And I'm not just doing like all daily vlog videos. It's just, you know, my, my life is waking up, finding out what I'm going to fix, and then trying to plan the future, you know. Um, I still don't even know which date or month I'm leaving out of Washington State. I did get my dish rack, so this is the one that I ordered on Amazon that I actually measured and I knew would fit in the second compartment sink. This is a Camco, I think it was like $11 on Amazon or something like that. It fits right in there, it's very small, it's a little, cool little drying rack, I can still put my, my soap right here, my sponge and everything. It's funny because I'm in the, in the van, I didn't even have a way to wash dishes and it's so nice having running water to be able to clean and wash my dishes. It's uh, it's weird. It's the little things that, that really make a big difference, I guess. Yeah, it has to be. Anyway, I'll give you guys another update here in a couple days. I'll get on the road. We'll go do some boondocking so me and Jax can feel our thing, get in our groove a little bit more. And then I'll try to give an update here um, within the next week for sure about when we want to leave and start getting on the road, you know, way away from the northwest. We had thunderstorms last night, literally thunder and lightning all night long warm rain hitting the top of the roof so there's no leaks in the roof at least and um and now it's just going to be like 66 degrees as the high here in summer so anyway i want to get out of here before the rain hits oh boy all right y'all have a good one talk to you later Hey guys, Jax here, along with his human servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, don't forget to watch all of our other videos. we got some great material out there. Subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates here on the road. Can you say hi? Talk to you guys later.